my dear brothers and sisters in Christ Jesus, good afternoon to one and all. During this Holy Christian celebration, and especially pray, Archdiocese of Vishakapatanam, Bhuchirajipalam Parish. This Mass is offered for Divyavani TV, Corpus Fund donors, late Muchi Joseph family. For the departed soul of late Muchi Joseph on his 23rd death anniversary, may his soul rest in peace by Muchi Maria Ratnam family members. Today's Rosary Divine Mercy Chaplet, Word of God, Holy Ever are also offered for this family and their intentions. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all and with your spirit. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. 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 My dear brothers and sisters in Christ Jesus, today let us with the word inviting all of us to reflect about our spiritual blindness. Very many times we do not think about blindness because we have eyes to see and with these eyes whatever we want, we look around, we see the world, we see people and so on. But when it comes to our spirituality very many times we neglect our blindness. Therefore in the gospel today God is giving sight to the blind. In the first reading too, Noah is trying to find whether the water that was on earth is disappeared or still it is there. In order to test that he is sending birds out to see and the birds returning which means that still water is around. My dear brothers and sisters, very many times we are in the situations, we are in particular clutches from which we are not able to come out. Today, gospel in the first reading or asking, a, asking us to come out of the situation in which we are fully dropped in so that we may see Jesus at the same time we may have spiritual sight which is very proper to see Jesus in our life. Therefore, let's feel sorry for all the times, for all the sins that we have committed. Ask pardon and mercy so that we may worthily partake in this Holy Eucharistic celebration. I confess to Almighty God and, and to, to my, my brothers and sisters, sisters that I have greatly, greatly sinned in, in my thoughts and my words, words in, in what, what I have done and in what I have failed to do. do. Through my fall, through my fall, through my most grievous fall. Therefore, I ask, bless Mary Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy. Christ have mercy. Christ have mercy. Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy. Let us pray. O God, who teaches that you abide in hearts that are just and true, grant that we may be so fashioned by your grace as to become a dwelling place pleasing to you. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. He saw that the face of the ground was dry. A reading from the book of Genesis, chapter 6, 8, verses 6 to 13 and 22, 22. At the end of the 40 days, Noah opened the window of the ark that he had made and set forth a raven. It went to an and fro until the waters were dried up from the earth. Then he sent forth a dove from him to see if the waters had subsided from the face of the ground. 
but the dove found no place to set her feet and she returned to him to the ark for the waters were still on the face of the whole earth so he put out his hand and took her and brought her into the ark with him he waited another 7 days and again he sent forth the dove out of the ark and the dove came back to him in the evening and behold in her mouth was a freshly plucked olive leaf so no one knew that the waters have subsided from the earth then he waited another 7 days and sent forth the dove and she did not return to him any more in the 601st year in the f- first month the first day of the month the waters were dried from the off the earth and noah removed the covering of the ark and looked and behold the face of the ground was dry the noah built an altar to the lord and took some of every clean animal and some of every clean bird and offered burnt offering on the altar and when the lord smelt the pleasing aroma the lord said in his heart i, I will never again curse the ground because of man for the intention of man's heart is evil from his m- mouth either i will i ever again strike down every living creature as i have done while the earth remains seed time and harvest cold and heat summer and winter day and night shall not cease the word of the lord thanks be to god your response a thanksgiving sacrifice i make to you o lord how can i repay the lord for all his goodness to me the cup of salvation i will raise i will call on the name of the lord your response a thanksgiving sacrifice i make to you o lord my vows to the lord i will fulfill before all his people how precious in the eyes of the lord is the death of his faithful your response a thanksgiving sacrifice i make to you o lord my vows to the lord i will fulfill before all his people in the courts of the house of the lord in your midst o jerusalem your response a thanksgiving sacrifice i make to you o lord Because the kingdom of God and his righteousness and all these things shall be added unto you be with you and with your spirit a reading from the holy gospel according to saint mark glory to you o lord gospel of mark chapter 8 verses 22 to 26 at the time jesus and the disciples came to bethsaida and some people brought to him a blind man and begged him to touch him and he took the blind man by the hand and led him out of the village and when he had spat on his eyes and laid his hands on him he asked him do you see anything 
And he looked up and said, I see people, but they look like trees walking. Then Jesus laid his hands on his eyes again, and he opened his eyes. His sight was restored, and he saw everything clearly. And he sent him to his home, saying, Do not even enter the village. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. 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 My dear brothers and sisters in Christ Jesus, just now we heard from the first reading and the gospel. In the first reading, the situation around the boat of Noah, everywhere water. There is no land seen. And yet, he wants to find whether water has dissolved into the mud or no. Therefore, he sends birds out and the birds find no place to lay or stay. Therefore, they come back to Noah. And in the gospel too, we heard Jesus, he is taking this blind man out of his village and healing him outskirts somehow something to do with this what is this going out why this bird was sent why Jesus has taken this blind man out of the village my dear brothers and sisters very many times we are clutches of the society very many times we are in the clutches of our bad habits of our own lifestyle very many times we think of coming out of this situation or from that place but somehow we are so much used to so we remain there when the problems come when the troubles come we think that I should be out I should start a new life I should begin something new now but still after a few days again we come back to the clutches of our bad habits and our lifestyle therefore in order to see Jesus in order to experience Jesus it is our responsibility to come out of our clutches come out of our habits come out of our normal way of life then we will be able to experience Jesus the first thing the birds went out and they found there is nothing there is nothing for them to eat there is nothing for them to stay Therefore, they are coming back to Noah. In the same way, you and me, as a baptized Christians, as followers of Jesus, our responsibility is, it is not to remain in our own situations and our old life and remain there and mug up there. No. God is asking every time to renew our life, to renew our vows, to renew our faith life. Therefore, today, the first reading and the gospel giving us a clear-cut idea that it is our responsibility to come out of the clutches of sin, clutches of our bad habits, clutches of our normal way of life, whereas come to Jesus. And the second point to reflect today, Jesus, at a time, he did not heal the blind man. Very well, Jesus could have told, let you receive the complete healing of sight. The blindness will be removed and you will have complete sight. You should have done that. But somehow Jesus did not do that. Because very many times we think with one incident, with one experience, we think that we want to become saints and we want to live a spiritual life. But Jesus is reminding all of us the reality of our human weaknesses. Reality, reality of sin and the reality of nature. Therefore, my dear brothers and sisters, Jesus is giving us the indication it is not that by one good deed that we become disciples of Jesus. It is not that by few days of good life we become. Very many times, some of us, Lent is coming now, so some of us think that during Lent season, 40 days we live like this and after that we can live again normal life. Somehow we think 
that living few days a good life spiritual life some good deeds will suffice no jesus is telling us that is not sufficient our life is growth step by step therefore jesus is healing this blind man very very clearly step by step first he spat on his eyes and touched him and saying do you see anything the blind man answering i see people walking like trees as if trees are walking then again jesus is touching him and asking him do you see now now he restored his sight in a similar way my dear brothers and sisters with one good incident we thank god and forget everything no it is our life journey because all that we have all that we receive all that we experience all that we wear all that we see all that we taste everything is just gift of god therefore our responsibility is to be always grateful to god and to experience this in all the times the third point to reflect my dear brothers and sisters today is very many times we have eyes the naked eyes with which we see entire world but very many times our interior life is not seen our interior life we are not able to go through and experience it we are not able to see it but god knows our entire life therefore it is important to have eyes to see the world around at the same time it is very much needed that we need to restore our spiritual blindness remove the spiritual blindness and come out of it and have the pure spiritual sight with which we will be able to see jesus we will we will be able to see jesus in others and we can give also jesus to others therefore my dear brothers and sisters keeping these three points in mind let us reflect and ask jesus that the all that is blocking from our sight may god remove and all that blindness that is disturbing us may god cleanse us so that we may be able to see jesus in in this world and in every people and in every living creature in the name of the father and of the son and of the holy spirit amen amen my dear brothers and sisters let us submit our intentions lord above father firstly we pray for our catholic church for francis our cardinal and all the bishops priests sisters and the laity lord give us the spiritual sight open our eyes to see the world and the reality so that we may be worthy citizens of your kingdom for this intention let us pray to the lord lord hear our prayer lord above father we pray for each other as very many times we are in the clutches of our bad habits in the clutches of our old life lord let your holy spirit guide us and renew our life so that we may walk in your footsteps for this intention let us pray to the lord lord hear our prayer lord we pray for all youth as they are preparing themselves for the better future guide them correct them and give them proper sight to see the past and the future so that the present they may give the value sufficiently and live meaningfully and they may take proper decisions for this intention let us pray to the lord lord hear our prayer lord we pray for divyani tv as it is eye opener faith opener for very many people lord as this tv helping very many people to experience and learn so many new things bless all those who are in charge all those who are working and all those who are benefactors that this this tv may become fruitful and may help very many to come and to know the proper faith for this intention let us pray to the lord lord hear our prayer let us pause for a while and submit all our personal intentions This prayer we make through Christ our Lord. Amen.
pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept <coughs> the sacrifice in your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. May this oblation, O Lord, we pray, cleanse and renew us, and may it become for those who do your will the source of eternal reward. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation. Always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For in you we will we live and move and have our being. And while in this body, we not only experience the daily effects of your care, but even now possess the pledge of life eternal. For having received the first fruits of the Spirit, through whom you raised up Jesus from the dead, we hope for an everlasting share in the Paschal mystery. And so with all the angels, we praise you. As in joyful celebration, we acclaim, Holy, Holy, Holy Lord of God host, Heaven and, and the heaven of and full glory. of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. highest. Blessed is who comes in the name of the Lord. Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the font of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts we pray by sending down your spirit upon them like the dew fall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it and gave it to disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it. For this is my body, which will be given up for you. <coughs> In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to disciples saying, Take this all of you and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith, we proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity. Together with Francis our Pope, Paul Antonio, our Archbishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection. And all you have died in your mercy, welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, the Blessed Joseph, with the Blessed Apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages. We may merit to be coerced to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. <coughs> through him and with him and in him, 
O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. 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 At the Savior's command and found by the divine teaching, we dare to pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, 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 hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And let us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil, graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress. As we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ, for the kingdom of the power and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who set your opposers, peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on the sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Lamb of God, <coughs> you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter mm -hmm. under my roof, but, but only say the whole and my soul shall, soul be, shall healed. be healed. May the body and blood of Christ keep us safe in eternal life. Amen. Prayer of Spiritual Communion My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come into my heart spiritually. I embrace you as if you were already there, and unite myself to you wholly. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen.
God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son so that all who believe in him may not perish but may have eternal life. Let us pray. Having fed upon these heavenly delights, we pray, O Lord, that we may always long for that food by which we truly live. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in the peace of Christ. Thanks be to God.